Hey guys, it's Mallory here with All About Cats. This week's video is, well, as you can probably guess from the title, going to be a smidge different from what we typically see here on the channel. Um, we're going to be talking about a day in the life of a cat guardian, or really a day in my life. I'm going to be walking you through all of the things that I'll do on a typical day with my two cats, Wesley and Forrest, and I'm also going to be mixing in some insights into what my life is like as a cat YouTuber and uh, working with All About Cats on content and all of the different things that All About Cats puts out on the website, the YouTube channel, and our other projects around the web. So I hope that you find this video interesting. Let's jump into it. So I'll typically get up somewhere between 5 and 6.30 in the morning, sometimes a bit later, pretty flexible. And generally my cats are still snoozing or asleep at that time. My cats don't really get up before I do. Sometimes they will, um, but because I tend to wake up fairly early, we generally kind of get up around the same time. So I'll typically start going downstairs somewhere between, again, maybe 6.30 and 7, and it's at this time that I'm going to feed the cats. So again, depending on how long I've been up and how long the cats have been waiting, I am going to start seeing Wessie kind of pacing around, wiggling his tail, getting really excited, um, meowing, indicating that he's really hungry. Forrest doesn't really have the same routine. She'll typically not really uh, come out until she hears me open the closet door, indicating that I'm ready to feed her. So on this particular day, I'm feeding them Fancy Feast classic pate for breakfast. Fancy Feast has been my go-to for the last year or so. I found that it is budget-friendly, meat-based, low in carbohydrates, and moisture-rich. Um, arguably, it doesn't have the best ingredients. Um, perhaps I could find a product with higher quality ingredients, but what I found is that this is a food that my cats like. Uh, I can find it easily, and it is economical. So I'm pretty happy with Fancy Feast at this point. So both of them are going to get a can of this Fancy Feast. They'll typically drag their meal out over the course of maybe half an hour. Sometimes Forrest will take a little bit longer to come down um, and she'll eat a little bit later than Wessie. But in general, this is going to be their morning meal. So around this time, I'm ideally going to start doing some chores and uh, this would be the time when I would clean out the litter boxes. Now my litter box cleaning routine can get a little bit erratic because I'm testing out so many different litter boxes and types of litter. Uh, at this particular moment, I have five different litter boxes sitting around because I just tested out litter boxes and I happen to have all of these in the house. Normally I'll have three litter boxes out. That's a much more reasonable number for my two cats. Anyway, I'm going to clean out these litter boxes. I'm going to deposit the waste into my litter genie, um, which I found to be really useful for controlling odors. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to clean up the area. So this is a good opportunity to sweep. I'm going to vacuum this time, uh, just clean up any scatter uh, that's left in this room. Once I'm done with the cat chores, I'm going to head over and get my own breakfast or some coffee. Um, so today I'm making a latte and I'm going to prepare it in this nice Wesleyan Forest inspired mug that was given to me by a friend. And once I've done that, I'm going to finish up any other chores and then head upstairs to start my work day. Around the time that I'm usually heading up to start my work at my desk, Wesley and Forrest have finished up their meal and they'll usually go upstairs to their favorite snuggly spots and start cleaning up after breakfast. So typically when cats eat, they're going to have to clean themselves afterwards and then take a nap. From that point on, I'm pretty much not going to really think about them too much for a number of hours. So again, I work with All About Cats handling multimedia content. So that includes the YouTube videos you're seeing here. And I'm also um, dealing with articles written on the website, things on social media. And so those are the things that I'm going to be focusing on uh, in a typical day. So I'll usually start my day responding to emails, uh, dealing with any projects that we're working on. Uh, sometimes I will have calls with uh, people I work with uh, or people we're collaborating with. And so that's how I start my morning. And then after I'm done with those basic tasks, I've talked to everyone who needs to be talked to and I've gotten everything squared away on those various projects I'm working on. I'm going to dive into my primary project for the day. So this is either going to be a larger writing project or something related to video. 
Some days I will be recording B-roll and at this time, Wessie will usually get involved. He'll come downstairs and look at the products, maybe test them out if necessary. And I'll often do a little bit of training with him at that time. So I will reinforce commands like sit, um, high five, shake paws, um, and give him a couple of treats during that time. On video recording days, I will be carrying things up to the set, setting up the lights, getting everything positioned, and then of course recording the video. And then video editing days are usually a full day of editing. So I'll just be sitting there editing away uh, until the video is done. During this afternoon period when I'm working on things, I'm typically going to take breaks every so often, uh, hang out with my cats sometimes. Uh, this would be the time when I would brush them. Sometimes I'm going to brush their teeth. Uh, but during this period of time, the cats really aren't doing that much. They're just kind of in and out of snoozing, not really being all that active. Every day, evening time comes way more quickly than I expected to and it's going to be time to have dinner. Um, Wessie will sometimes have some table scraps. As usual, Forrest usually is not all that interested. Um, she can enjoy some scraps in her bowl, but she generally doesn't really want to participate in dinner time with the family. I will occasionally, if the weather is nice, go out with Wessie. Again, unfortunately, Forrest uh, just is not all that enthusiastic about going outside anymore. At any rate, somewhere between 7 and 9 p.m., it will be time to give the cats their dinner. Again, I'm going to be feeding them a couple cans of Fancy Feast Pate. And then after dinner, again, the routine repeats and the cats groom themselves and kind of go to bed, so to speak. So somewhere between 9 and 11.30, we're all going to be going to sleep and that's about it. Another day is done and uh, it all starts again tomorrow. So I hope that you found this video interesting and that it gave you a kind of new perspective on what another cat guardian's life might look like or what your life might look a bit like if you do adopt a cat. And I also hope that you found it interesting to see what my life is like working on these YouTube videos and testing all of these products. It's been a really interesting experience for me and I hope that this video gave you a little bit of a sense of how um, working in this area changes the way that cat guardianship looks. Um, it's really colored my experience of my cats um, and I'm grateful that it's given me the opportunity to work with them more closely. Um, you know, getting these videos and doing some of the training and making sure that they're there for photos, all of these things have uh, really added to my experience of having cats and kind of brought me closer with them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to hear about your daily routine with your cats. So please let me know about it in the comments. Another part of my daily routine that I didn't mention is responding to your comments. So of course I will be reading all of them and responding um, to any questions. Again, Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more information on all things cats, including uh, informative videos like this one, as well as product reviews and buyer's guides, please subscribe to the All About Cats channel. We release new videos every week and I would love to see you become a part of our community here. So thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.